Yo, what's up? Um, I meant to do this for a while back, um, so I'm just grabbing something. Now, I went to a convention a couple of weeks ago. It's independent, it's like Comic Con, but it's independently run, and I think it's a United Kingdom thing. I'm not sure if it's all over the world, probably just in the UK. It's called Fiddle the Sci Fi. Now, it was my first convention, and dear fucking god, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Sorry for swearing, I really swatched my language. Now, if you wonder what's in my hand, I'm currently in the process of making a Tyrannosaurus. But one of the leg hinges broke off. So I'm having to hold the resin while it dries. Now, uh, I'll show you some things that I picked up there. Just give me a sec to go grab them. I've already reviewed some of these on the channel. Uh, so, you know. I hope you, um, you know. Some of you may already know what these are. Um, just because of the fact that I've reviewed them. I need, I've got a few more to review, actually. I didn't pick up too much. Uh, just because... Um, you know, the nature of what I got, some of these things are quite priced, at least one of them was. One of them was about 25 quid. Just give me a sec, guys. Ah, my picture keeps falling down. Christ almighty. And pop that off the wall. Okay, so I've got a various things. Now, these two items are for free. First of all is this. Now, you're probably wondering, who is this signed by? This is by, signed by Jennifer Blanc Bean, which, for those of you who don't know, is Michael Bean's wife. A uh, very nice woman, very chatty, good to talk to. Um, I mean, she is very friendly. Very, very friendly person. Michael's great as well. We'll get into him in a minute. Um, I also got this. Uh, now, this isn't signed because the other thing I got signed is for... I got this not signed for a reason. There's something else I got signed. You'll see that in a bit. As you know, I took the Infinity Gauntlet. That got a lot of rep, reputation, reputation there. Another thing I got was Alan Grant for about four quid. Um, just, just as he is. Um, not bad. Um, you know. He's pretty good. I picked him up just because I had the chance to. I like Alan Grant. Then I got Renegade Predator for about a fiver. Now, I already had his gun at home with the box set. There was 50 quid, the 50 quid set that I got on eBay. And Apone was currently using that gun. So, you know, now I've got an accessory for him. I also have Terra Trash. Got him for a fiver. He's pretty much complete, actually. So that was pretty good. Good condition as well. I'll review him at some point. And dear God, my hand is now starting to hurt from holding that too tight. Uh, then I also got... Um, I need to wipe the resin on my trousers, not get on these. The King Alien. Good figure. You've already seen me review him. If you want to review, just take a look at my previous videos. It's not far down. I reviewed him, like, yesterday. And then I got Marvel Select Lady Death and Thanos. This is kind of how I have him displayed on the shelf. Just stood there like that with his Infinity Gauntlet. And uh, he's, he's pretty cool. Infinity Gauntlet is an accessory. Lady Death comes with a face mask. And Thanos uh, well, was packaged with this hand, so Infinity Gauntlet was the accessory. <laughs> now for the big thing. Now, I met Michael Bean, and you can probably see the black signature there. But, now, he charged 20 quid per signature, which is quite a decent amount, I think, because some people charged, uh, like, 40 quid. However, I asked him to sign my disc, and his assistant said, do you want to charge him? And Michael Bean said, no, it's all right. So I got the disc signed for free. Michael, if you're watching this, you've got no idea how much I appreciate that. That really, really make, really make, like, makes me happy. The fact that he signed the disc as well is amazing. And yes, it is Aliens. I know which disc to get signed, guys, so don't worry. I didn't feck up with that. If I ever meet Sigourney, I'm getting her to sign the first one because the first one was, like, probably her biggest one, I'd say. And if I ever meet Ron Perman, I'll get him to sign Resurrection. Even though I didn't like Resurrection... Or Alien 3 that much. I did like the I did like some elements of it. Like I liked the effects and I did like the cast overall. It's just the scripts were my biggest problem. The acting was good though. So um meeting Michael. Well, for first of all, my leg was juddering like mad because my leg judders. I'll just show you what I mean. Like my leg judders like that. And it this was this thing was going like a fucking four hundred horsepower like five thousand horsepower motor. The resin has now started to adhere itself. Just need to hold that down so that it keeps on drying. And yeah, and um, it was amazing. It really was cool. Oh, I forgot. Michael Bean's in, the, in this movie as well. It's um, The Night Visitors 2, Heather's Story. you got Jennifer Blank and Michael Bean. For those of you who don't know, they won their own film company, by the way. The two of them kind of, even though they're married, they kind of put both their movie efforts together to make the Blank Bean 
I don't know if it's Corporation, I'm not sure, but the Blank Bean Company, they kind of like do films together. I think it's independent, so it's not like Hollywood or any of that shizzle, but it's quite high quality stuff. So that's pretty good. Um, I might give those a go, because they've, they've mainly done horror films, and I do like my horror films. Um, so still, back to Michael Bean. Uh, just, wow, what an amazing guy. I can't express enough how awesome of a guy he is. Like, he really is, like... It is amazing. He is one of the nicest guys you could ever possibly meet. He's nice. He's down to earth. He's very humble. He, he's really good with fans. He, he's quite a reserved guy as well. So he's not like super talkative. It's what I mean is like, he is talkative, but not like to the extent that I am where I will just waffle on crap. He's a lot more sensible than me, obviously, but he is really, he is a really nice guy. And ooh, there's a bit of blue plastic in there. But still, he is like, an amazing, amazing guy. If you ever get a chance to meet him, just, you know, just go. I mean, when I first saw the guy, when he walked into the convention, because he was running a little bit late, I think. Like, I don't know, maybe his time was a bit later than the others, but I walked in, and I lost my phone at that point, but I found it, because it wouldn't be recording otherwise. <laughs> and I, as soon as I saw him, I, as soon as I saw him, I just walked over to him, went Michael Bean, and I just shook his hand. And let me, he's got a firm grip, though. Like, he has got a good handshake. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gushing now. But he was an amazing guy. Um, he follows me on Twitter as well, but he, he barely uses it. So, you know, you know, just if he doesn't follow you back or anything, like, it's not those official Michael Bean accounts. It's uh, it's one that barely anyone knows, but I know it is because Jennifer told me, and she's verified on Twitter. Um, I'm meeting them both. I met his son, Michael's son as well, Alex. He's a really cool kid as well. He's a bit of a Pokemon fan, I think. Um, but still, Michael Bean... Just, just wow, I flipping heck, what a guy, what a guy. I've said that enough times, haven't I? It's true, he is an amazing guy. I can't express enough just how cool he is. He, you know, and I even asked him like about Alien 3, and we both agreed <laughs> that Alien 3 was pretty shit, which is true. For a lot of us fans, it's pretty shit. I like the, the runner alien in it, though. I mean, I'll show you. I liked all the aliens, except for the newborn. The newborn was a fucking stupid design. But I like the dog alien, because I have the re-release of it. Good figure. My elbow joint's busted, though, so it's on a Lego ratchet, which means... Detachable arm gimmick. <laughs> anyway, let's get back on the topic. Um, that's kind of, The resin's kind of solidified now. i just got to wait to, to fully cure up. <laughs> As I was saying... um. It was just awesome. I showed him my Kenner figure of Hicks, by the way. I took that with me. And uh, he quite, him and Jennifer quite like the look of that. That old bloody soldier with the rocket launcher. I'll go get that, actually, for those of you who haven't, you don't know what it looks like. It's a very simple figure. It's, this is 1992 we're talking about. It looks really cool. It is a cool feature. It is a cool figure. Uh, I'd love to get the Necker on. I mean, I'm, I mean, glad Necker are re-releasing it. But if I ever see him again, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get two of them. Get him to sign one side of it. And if I ever meet Bill Paxton, I'll get him to sign your side of it. Because I mean, like you know, it'd just be awesome. I'd love to meet Bill Paxton, by the way. He's cool. Uh, still, um, if you ever get a chance to speak to Michael, I'd say go ahead. Uh, if he's busy, you know, just fair enough, respect that. But I mean, you know, he was very happy to talk to me when I first approached him. As he walked in, obviously I had to let him go at some point because you know he had to get to his little stall where he had to sign things and. Uh, yeah, it was just amazing. It was an amazing convention, guys. Michael Bean was the high I went there solely for Michael Bean. I didn't, like, I, that was the reason I went there, because I knew this is my chance to meet my hero. Yes, Michael Bean is my hero. He is the, you know, like, in The Mummy Returns, when, in the pyramid, when there's that big jewel of it? Him and one other person are both the, are both that jewel. Well, they're like half the jewel each. The other person who's the other half the jewel is my father, because my father's a really good person. Like, my dad's my role model in a way. And so is Michael Bean. So I have two more role models, my dad and Michael Bean. I mean, Michael Bean was the fucking... He was fucking Corporal Hicks and Kyle Reese. Like, for those of you who don't know, Kyle Reese isn't... He was a good guy in the first Terminator movie. And it was amazing. A couple of my other friends that there went as well. And it was just brilliant. Like... Michael was the best part about it. He really made my day. So even though, I mean, I, I was having a good day anyway, but Michael really, he was, he's so far been the best thing. Meeting him is the best thing that's happened this year. And I didn't think anything could top seeing ACDC live. Well, I was wrong, but in a good way. Because meeting Michael Bean was just fucking brilliant. 
it was just brilliant. Sorry, I'm gushing too much about Michael Bean now. It's just, it's, look, guys, if, you, if you're a fan of him, you ever get a chance to meet him, you'll know what I mean. Trust me, he really is worth everything. He is worth flipping running around the place trying to, you know, meet, meeting him for. Because, I mean, I was running around the place trying to find my phone, but I saw him in the meantime, and I, I was anxious at the time, but it instantly calmed me down. So, um, you know, it really did make me happy. Just meeting him. He is my hero, guys. I'm sure some of you have your own heroes. You know, like, um, I don't know. Some of you are big fans of Arnold Schwarzenegger. If you ever bump into Arnie on the street, you're just going to gush over him like I did with Michael Bean. I mean, I love Arnie too, but Michael Bean, like, he's done the, uh, nearly every movie he's done. No, sorry. Every movie I have seen him in has been a masterpiece. He was in The Abyss as Hiram Coffey. Who, funny enough, he was the bad guy in that movie, actually, which was an interesting role for Michael. It made me think, Jesus, Michael can, play, can portray a really good bad guy. And I mean, he really does portray a very, very good bad guy. Like, he really does. It was scary almost, just how evil in the movie he was. But it was good, though. I mean, it shows you can act. And my dog, Alien, does not want to stand at the moment, which is kind of stupid. It really does show you just how well he can act. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've not seen mo many movies of him. I've seen uh, Aliens, Terminator. I've seen most of the 80s ones. I need to see some more. Oh, and Planet Terror from 2007. That was pretty decent, actually. Shame his character died in it, but... Eh. It's not an end of the world. Could be worse, though, but... I would have rather his character survive, to be honest. And, Jesus, that is a high leg kick. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, but still... Also, Jennifer's on Twitter as well. She does have Twitter. Uh, I I could I don't know. I can't put links in descriptions at the moment because YouTube capture whenever I tries it, it freezes. And I got something in the middle of my night. So basically, um, yeah, I, you you could find them on Twitter. I can probably edit it on my PC and put a description in there without crashing the app. But I'd have to wait for the video to upload then, and it's a pain in the ass. I've got to monetize my other videos, but I can't be arsed recently. I'm just doing that now. Right, so I'll do it after this vlog. I'll get my other videos monetized. But still, um, if you ever get a chance, just, you know, talk to Jennifer on Twitter. She is a real... Also, they're both really good people. Like, they're very good with fans. They answer as many questions as they can. They, um, you know... They, um... You know, they, they talk to you as much as they possibly can. Michael obviously doesn't use social media, but she's just not very familiar with it. Um, he did say, you know, he is getting the hang of it he's just not very fluent with it because you know let's face it it's you know it's it is kind of annoying to use and where's my internet gone there we go it is a kind of an annoying thing to use internet i mean i find my problems with it but uh if he ever does get to it i'm sure he will probably um you know respond to a lot of fans on it i mean he follows me on it he follows my mate austin on it and uh it is just an awesome awesome trip that I had. It was an amazing trip worth it. It's just so worth it. It really was the best thing I had ever done all year. And that's just my call alone. I met Sylvester McCoy from Doctor Who as well, and he was pretty cool. However, unfortunately, his assistant, the guy that was with him... Now, this wasn't Sylvester. This was Sylvester's assistant now sylvester was very nice sylvester was a very nice humble guy very quiet but you know he's very nice but his assistant was very grabby for money like what and whatever's with michael and his assistant they i mean yeah they did ask for money for child for signatures well his, his assistant did michael really didn't ask which is fair enough i suppose but his assistant wasn't grabby at all michael's assistant wasn't grabby but um sylvester's assistant unfortunately was quite a bit grabby for it uh, which was bloody annoying, really. I felt I was, I was a bit pissed off about that. But it happens, you know. But still, um, that's been this vlog for this sci-fi event. If any of you ever see Michael Bean in person, just approach him. Also, I uh, also I told him how much his work, how good, sorry, how good his work was in Colonial Marines. Yes, I'm not afraid to admit, I actually liked Colonial Marines. Was it the best game? No. Was it the worst game? No, trust me. You want the worst game? Try White to Hell Retribution. Ah. Ah. Horrid. Just horrible. Horrid game. Not played it, but I've seen enough of it. I mean, I you want I mean, I was that excited for Colonial Marines. Right. That I I pre-ordered the bugger. Now where's my statue, you do ask? Um Well my statue is right here. I pre-ordered this. 
and I don't regret it one bit. The game had some problems, yes. I mean, I was quite lucky with the glitches, but still, this isn't about Colonial Marines, this is about the vlog and all that, I'm just saying. So I told him how much he's working it, and he, he was alright with it, actually, he did appreciate that. But I could tell he was bummed out about me mentioning it, because, well, I mean, he did say as well that it was a bad game, and yeah, it was, but because it's aliens, you're just running and shooting aliens, I didn't mind it. I quite enjoyed it. This goes fun at the end, every now and then. It's, um, it's not like some other games I've played, which are shit. It's not like other movie tie-in games, which are bloody awful. But still, um... <laughs> Meeting Michael Bean. Just, just wow, guys. I'm going to end it here, because I've got about 15 minutes about meeting Michael Bean, and my internet isn't, and my computer, at least YouTube desktop, is being stupid. So I can't monetize videos at the moment. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go have a packet of Skittles, an energy drink, which is a monster ultra, and I'm going to watch Prometheus because I'm obsessed with the Deacon at the moment. I've been the Archangel, I've been gushing on about Michael Bean, telling you about my trip in this vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, you see Michael Bean, go up to him, just say hi, you know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.